Hello and welcome to New Junction. As you saw in last week's video, we finished this small section here, which is now all dried. And in this week's video, we're going to go on to the actual pilot sidings themselves, as you can see here. And the first step before I continue with any scenery is to put some lights in. Now the lights I'll be choosing are these Gauge Master lights. They come in a uh, either double or single packs. What I've done is um, cut them down, as you can see. Like that, so they become singles. They were spare anyway, and they are uh, GM 880s. And the first step is to put them in. So I'm just plotting where to put the lamps. Um, originally, I was going to have one, just a bit more traditional, have it right in the middle. But unfortunately, I've got a, a lovely cross beam right there. So I'm going to have no hope of wiring that in. So I think to make it a bit more symmetrical, I'm going to go for one here and one here and have the path at the back coming across. I think that's probably going to be the uh, the better option. And there we go. The lamps are now gluing in position with a bit of rocket card glue and as you can see I've got a bit of van propping going on. Um, <laughs> these are literally just in place just to stop the lamps leaning forwards um, and hopefully they'll glue straight and uh, I look forward to testing them. So I'm going to give this probably about half an hour and then I'll remove the vans and all being well they'll be stuck and well, I'll be able to show you lamps that are on. And there we go. Hopefully you can see that. The, the, obviously the loft lights are still on, um, but the uh, LED bulbs are actually lit and working. I can't take the credit for this. However, I did get a uh, friend in to help me. Um, so a big thank you to Martin for coming and uh, helping me with my wiring. Um, it just makes the job a bit quicker and a bit easier for you. But now I'm really pleased with these. And now it's time to uh, get on with a bit more of the groundwork now that these uh, um, work. So, um, time to improve the rest of the scene. So the next phase, I wanted to add a bit of static grass to the scene. Um, I'm mainly going to tackle um, in between the main lines and the sidings just here at the front, and then maybe a bit at the back um, on the other side of the, uh, the pathway I'm about to add in. Now, usually when I do this, I put the, uh, the ground glue down first, and then I add a bit of Woodland Scenics Fine Turf just to break up the scene. I don't want solid grass, I just want sort of patches. So um, the fine turf sort of takes up some of the glue and therefore doesn't let the, gra the grass go everywhere. Um, the next step is to put my first layer down, which I'll probably use, I'm gonna use darker colors. So I've got the uh, WWS um, Autumn 4 mil and uh, the Dead um, as it's labeled. Now these are much darker colours, again, to lend themselves to this sort of, um, I suppose, um, damp area of scenery. Um, and of course I'll be using the uh, WWS Static Grass Applicator. Um, like I said, I want it to be slightly patchy, so I can add some details in and some, uh, probably some spare rails, etc. And a few other bits, and hopefully we can uh, make it look quite nice. So, here goes. So as you can see, the path has now been laid. The drivers can now get to their engines. And as you can see, I've used the uh, the van anchoring method yet again. <laughs> this is what, no wonder we have so many uh, spare vans on our layouts. So while the path is drying, I'm going to do this front bit here. Um, what I'm gonna do before I get on, I've got my two previously weathered rails ready to go. I'm just gonna grab a bit of the WWS glue. This isn't for the rails, this is just to uh, put a layer down. 
ever so gentle. I don't want too much. If I can help it. So do a nice line. And I've got a very old brush. I'm just going to dab that in. I might not have got near enough glue there. slightly more down. I don't want some bare patches but not all of them. grass or scenery. There we go. Put that to one side, put the lid back on the glue. And first thing, I've got the fine turf. I've mixed those two colours together. That was earth and uh, the green grass. Um, I'm just going to sprinkle this down from a height. Just gently. Of course, this will only stick to the areas where the glue is, obviously. I only want it lightly on there. All right, so that's that on. The uh, next stage. I'm just going to put the two rails on, I'm just going to lay them down right in the middle. I can. <laughs> trying to get them stood up now. There we go. And then I'm going to load up the uh, static brass applicator. lower layer is going to be the uh, the greener grass and I'll cover it with a bit of a dead colour at the top. And again I'm not going to load the uh, grass hopper up too much because I don't want to overdo it. in first. I always find the first layer doesn't stick too well or doesn't static too well I should say. It tends to be the, the second layer with the, uh, the spray that does. place it's going to stick. So when this hoovers up it should uh, um, really thin out again. Right, so I'm going to put, fill the hopper with some of the uh, the dead which is um, the dead grass which is much more yellow in colour. card and we're about to spray the uh, layering spray on top I 
Now this will get everywhere, um, however, it does come off very easily. So I'm just gonna bit of card over the track where possible. Now, I'm going to be very careful not to go near the actual main line. Um, too much of this. I don't want too much of this colour, just an accent. There we go. There is far too much on there. There is far too much on there currently. As you can see, it's covered the uh, electrical boxes very well. It all comes off super easily. Um, now's a good time just to disturb it because you don't want to be bolt upright. It's off the path I don't want. Because it will dry to them. I'm going to give that probably 10 minutes or so and then we're going to go over that with the hoover and take up any excess. Also while that's drying I'm just with a stiff clean brush just going to go over all the uh, the track and just get up any of the uh, um, loose um, bits of grass that may have been caught with the uh, static grass spray um, just to clean up the main line. And then I'm going to move you over to the right hand side here I'm just going to fill in this gap and add a bit more static grass here and at the back here. Not in front of the second gate, mind. So I've just been over the excess grass um, initially with the Henry Hoover just to get up some of the excess. Um, I'm really going to have to leave it overnight before I can uh, get up all of the, uh, the dry stuff. Um, a lot of it's just heavy and stuck with this, the layering spray itself. But uh, at least the track work is clear, the important bit. Right, moving on, a bit, bit more finer detail. Um, I've actually got some of the safety fence. Now, this path here, which is point blank with the main line really needs something so I was going to prop one of these in um, and hopefully that'll stick so I'm using the trusty van method <laughs> there's a lot of that this evening so I'm going to uh, pop a touch of rocket car glue on the bottom of each one of these legs here we go The next step while the uh, fence is drying, I'm going to add some more of the Woodland Scenics bushes just to the edge of the fence periodically and then the odd bit um, here on the patches just to break them up. Now as usual I've got some PVA in a tub, I'm just going to dab some bits down near the fencing and then uh, pop some of the bushes into the gaps and that's the next step and there we go as you can see the path is now in drying the rails and the grass are in also the bushes the lamps are on the man next to the fence as you can see if I bring you up the first pilot is coming in
So all in all, I'm very happy with that. I do really need to let it dry before I continue. But as you can see, the scene is really coming together now. It's starting to fill in the gaps. So I'm going to turn the lights out now and let you see what it looks like in the dark. But I'm going to thank you as ever for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.